Today, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, how to get Axie relics. I'm going to explore the the different ways of getting Axie relics most efficiently. Like obviously, there's a million different ways you can get it. Uh, if you stick around in most like high level missions, you're going to get like one or two Axie relics at some point. But you know, it's not going to be super effective way of farming. There are specifically three ways of farming for Axie relics that are more efficient. Uh, and faster than all others. Uh, the first one, which I can show you, is quite simply through running syndicate missions, leveling up with your syndicates. And to that point, to that endeavor, um, you. what you want to do uh, when you run syndicate missions is, you know, hunt for hunt for syndicate medallions. That you can trade for additional standing with that syndicate. And you're like, what, what does this have to do with, with Axie Relics? Well, it's because of the relic packs that they sell. So, you go to you, you go to this guy. Well, depending on which syndicate it is. Right now, it's, you know, Steel Meridian. Okay, we got a couple of insignias here. You can you can trade those in to get some, some, some more standing. Yeah, whatever. Let's trade in a ton uh boom oh let's see what else can we get that too yeah get that too ah uh, i'm gonna get negative standing with people i'm already at negative standing on how sad how awful so you know once you've done that once you've done a bunch of syndicate missions collected a bunch of standing and uh, trade it in your insignia if you want to, to for even more standing. Uh, you can you can trade all of that standing for rewards. And one of the things that you can buy is relic packs, twenty uh, twenty thousand standing per relic pack. So you know, sure. Let's get, let's get five relic packs here, and then you get axie relic, meso meso. Neo, Meso, Lith, Axie, Lith, Lith, Neo, Lith, Meso, Neo, Meso, Meso, and that's it. So, you know, that gave me like two or three Axie relics. Uh, always something to keep in, in, in your mind that like that's a way of getting Axie relics. Next one. So the second way of efficiently farming for Axie relics, or, you know, you know somewhat efficiently, is by doing uh, bounties in Cetus. On the plains of Eidolon. Because, uh, I'll show you. Eh. Now these bounties, obviously, like, they rotate and stuff. But, uh, uh, they have different tiers. Oh, wow, what's going on, Konsu? I'm, I'm standing in a weird way, aren't I? That made you look weird. I'm gonna stand here instead, so you don't look weird. Ah, that's better. Um, yeah. They have different tiers, and if you look at the uh, prospective rewards you can get for doing bounties, the second tier can give you Lith Relics as an uncommon reward, the third tier can give you Meso Relics, the fourth tier can give you Neo Relics, and the fifth and final tier can give you Axie Relics as an uncommon reward. And, you know, you'll, you'll get you'll get a couple of those, that's fine, you, can, you usually pick up a couple of uncommon rewards when you run these bounties, because this bounty has five stages, and every stage of the bounty will give you a reward. Uh, so you can get five different rewards. Uh, and if you, like, do all the bonus objectives com uh, com correctly as well, then you can also get, like, a sixth bonus reward. So do that, do that, you'll pick up a couple of Axie Relics, but as you can see, as you can see, uh, it's always going to be the same kind. Uh, like this rotates and this changes over time, but for now if I were to run this I would only be getting specifically the Axie S6 relic So if I if I want specifically what's in the Axie S6 relic, then this is the best way of getting that but um, If I don't want what's inside the Axie S6 relic well shit that's that's what I'm gonna get for doing this but, if you uh, just want to be able to run Axie Relic missions and you don't really care what you're bringing to the table, you know, because other people are going to bring other relics and you can get other rewards as well, 
uh, then this is a way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a a run and pick up uh, a couple of bounty rewards, and we'll just we'll, we'll see what it ends up as. All right, so this was a bit of an uh, unlucky run, I guess. Well, not really, because, you know, the Wisps, that's good. Breath of the Eidolon, that's good. Uh, but as you can see, in, in this run, uh, I only got one Axie Relic. Normally, like, you, it, it can be less. It can be zero. Uh, it can also be as many as five. So, you know, uh, this is a way of doing it. If you look at the mission, uh, let's see, last mission results. Bam. That took 10 minutes to run a rank 5 bounty. Uh, so, so 10 minutes, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe even 5 Axie Relics. Unlikely that you're going to get 5 Axie Relics. But, you know, do, just do it this way. Run bounties for a couple of hours. You'll get a fair amount. Uh, but that's, uh, that's not the best way of farming for Axie Relics. So, right now, I'm going to jump over to showing you the best way of doing it. Okay, and now for the main event. The actual best way of farming for Axie Relics. So, here's the thing. Uh, we have to talk about reward structures. Normally, uh, in most missions that are of the endless type, like for example interception missions, or... Uh, or uh, defense missions, or survival missions, that you can just play for however long you want to, and then you get rewards at various intervals. Uh, they have a reward structure called A, A, B, C. Which means for the first uh, wave, or the first, like, just tier, you will get uh, rewards from the A bucket. And if you stay, and do like another, for example, five waves of defense, you'll get another reward. That one will also be from the A bucket. If you stay for another five waves, you will get a reward from the B bucket, and another five waves from the C bucket. And obviously the C bucket is the one that has the best rewards. So if you run like a defense mission, you would have to do 20 waves of defense to get a reward from the C bucket. And that's usually where the Axie Relics are. Um, and this, and then it rotates back. So it's like A, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, A, A, B, C, forever. But there is one mission type that does not have that reward structure. And that mission type is uh, disruption missions. Where you have to protect conduits from, uh, from demolisher units. And in particular, one disruption mission here, Apollo on Lua. This one rewards Axie Relics. And Disruption Missions, they have the reward structure of A, B, C, 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 forever. So all you have to do in a Disruption Mission is just get to the C tier. And once you are at the C tier, you will be at the C tier for the rest of the mission. Which means you just stay, and you do your waves, get your reward, and then you stay, and you do your waves, and you get your reward. And it's always going to be rewards from the C bucket. Hey, guess what? <clears throat> the C bucket for the disruption mission here on Apollo, on Lua, it gives you Axie Relics. <coughs> now, the flip side of this, obviously, is that the uh, uh, the disruption mission here on, on Apollo uh, is quite hard. Uh, it, it requires a lot out of you. And in terms of your gear. Um, because <coughs> the actual demolisher units that you have to take out to protect the conduits, uh, they're quite tough as well. So you need something that's, like, capable of, of actually uh, killing them. Now, for me, like, I'm I'm using an Acceltra here, and I'm using uh, my Equinox, and this is mostly to just take out the actual normal units, because normal units are a corpus. And 
Uh, Equinox is a beast when it comes to fighting Corpus units. Uh, but this Axeltra is probably not going to do a whole lot against the Demolisher units, which is why I'm using my sword, my Paracesis. Now, oh, not the best time to be invaded. So as you can see, people are actually being ballsy here and starting multiple conduits at the same time. Um, if you don't have that sort of confidence in your gear, I recommend only starting uh, one, one at a time. Um, because, you know, each one will spawn a different demolisher unit. Now, do you hear that? Yeah. They make sound. That's how you know where they are. Unfortunately, we failed the defense here because, as you can see in this one, um, someone decided to, to start a conduit, but not stick around to defend it. This can be what happens if, if your guys are not strong enough. Uh, that you'll be struggling to take out the conduits and uh, the demolishers in time. So you gotta listen for them to see where they are. Ah, it's up here. Alright. Now, let's see if we can do better this time. Yeah. So, cleared that one. And for, for now, this is fine. Because, yes, you need to protect the conduits to get the good rewards. But in this first wave, um, I'm not sure you can get an Axie Relic in the first wave anyway. So, I think it's fine. But already, already if we're staying here and doing the second wave, as long as we're just protecting the conduits and not failing these defenses, we're gonna start racking up Axie Relics. And when you're at like the waves three and onward, like I think you don't even need to protect all four. I think you can just protect uh, three out of the four conduits and you will get an Axie Relic. But obviously, uh, you want to play it safe. Uh, you want to try to protect all of them. Um, because, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe like, someone will fail something. And then you have to protect all three of the other ones. I don't know. Don't leave stuff to chance. Especially if you're running public games. Uh, because you never know uh, if the rest of the team... Really? Really? Someone's extracting? Someone did a single wave and then it dis decided to immediately extract. Like, this is obviously... I don't know. Maybe this is just someone who wants to... Um, uh, to clear the star chart and hadn't done this mission yet. What do I know? Uh, but most people who do this mission... Uh, they are gonna want to stick around for as long as possible. Lock it down till she pops. Maybe this was the same person, right? The same person who, uh, who activated a conduit without defending it. There we go. And, you know, it's not the end of the world. We are not a vapor trail. We're sticking around. I don't know why this person wants to extract. I certainly don't. The sentient has adapted to your damage. I no, he hasn't. That's what the paracesis is for. Hold up. Detecting glass resonance. It's close. So I guess this guy is gonna find out when he's trying to extract. Um that the rest of us uh, are not <laughs> trying to extract. Really? Two people are extracting? Oh, that's sad. No, 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 no. And a host migration too. This will not do. This will not do. No, for me to be able to show you this... 
Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to jump to a different game. Where people understand what this thing is about. And what we are doing here. Folks, we are doing important work. We're doing important work. And I will not have my content. My content. Sidetracked. By a bunch. Of, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. By a bunch of silly nannies. Who can't see the bigger picture. No. No, 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 no. That's not how this is gonna go down. <sighs> well, we still have one guy here. Guy is bonus. He knows the drill. And I bet he is at least gonna stick around um, for this round. He's here for them Axie relics, obviously. Oh, are you still fighting sentience? Dude. Okay. There. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we just gotta activate this. Ah. Oh, I guess we do have to worry about that. Okay, fine. There. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Demo unit incoming. Don't let them near the conduit. I'm not gonna. Don't worry about it. Not gonna start the final conduit, not when there's just two of us. No, we're gonna protect this one. So he's going that way. That means I'm going this way. Because we gotta listen for the demolisher. Doesn't appear to be here. Is he over here? No. Is he over on this side? Yes. He's up there. So you listen to them, right? And um, once you get close to them, uh, you'll even get like a map marker that's gonna be visible for everyone else in the team. But that's fine. Took him out. Not, not too much of a hassle. And now we just have one left. However, however, uh, this was not a good run. This was a failure. What you want to do in a run like this is you want to find a good team, meaning you want to find a team uh, that's planning on sticking around. Oh, I hear it already. Sorry, I cannot uh, help you revive, for my focus is on this boy. And there you go, Axie Relic. And like, if, if you just stick around from this point on, and just keep on doing wave after wave of disruption, uh, every new wave, every new wave is going to just give you uh, another Axie Relic. And if you're a good team, Four people all working together on just clearing this out as fast as possible. Like you can do, you can do a wave in just a couple of minutes. Uh, so you know, let's be conservative. Let's be conservative and say like five minutes. Um, that means you'll get like one axi relic every five minutes or so, which means you're gonna be farming them uh, twice as fast as you would by doing seekers um, bounties. And this one is not uh, locked into just being one kind. Right now I got an Axie A9 relic, but you know, you got you got the whole list. You can get pretty much any Axie relic from this. So, uh, how about, how about we do this right? And I'm just gonna cut out here, and I'm gonna cut back in at the end of a more successful Axie relic run, so you can see uh, what the rewards are supposed to look like uh, compared to the, uh, you know, the amount of time you put into it. Got a few seconds before the system resets. We can take them again. Game? Why is our 
Now this was a bit of a better round. So let's see. I think I pretty much... <laughs> I think I carried this one. Um... Eh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So as you can see here, 15 minutes. Axie, 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 Axie. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. That is indeed what I am talking about. So, um, yeah. Yeah, the disruption mission on Apollo, on Lua. That's where you get him. That's where you collect all of your Axie relics. And, um... Uh, you know, that's all there's to it, really. Step, you know, method number one, relic packs. Method number two, Cetus bounties. Method number three, and the best one, the disruption mission on Lua. And there you go. That's all you need to know.